In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get some A-gap pressure out of the nickel triple against the bunch tight end whenever defending the PA boot over bomb concept that a lot of people are liking to use right now out of the gun bunch tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe uh, button below. I'm gonna, It's completely free to subscribe and also let you know whenever I release new videos, upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better player. And like I said, today we're talking about the nickel triple. Now, one of the things I want to point out is we're in the Chicago, or actually we're in the Pittsburgh playbook today, uh, but you could do this out of several different uh, playbooks. This, this formation is really, really good. If you want to learn my all of my Madden 22 eBooks, the nickel triple is one of 13 uh, offensive and defensive guides that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season. So if you want to get access to the full eBook, there's a link to my Patreon. By joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to uh, all of the ebooks, all the tips, everything. I'm just putting a new, uh, just put out a new ebook in the Patreon this weekend. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Again, that link is down in the description. All right, guys. So boot over and the bomb out of boot over. I'm going to show you literally bombs practically every coverage. So we're just going to come out and cover three here. And the setup is really actually fairly simple. You're going to slide protect to the right. You're going to block your tight end. You're going to wheel the running back zig the circle receiver and streak the slot so you see this is kind of what it looks like you can also put the circle receiver on an out or you can put him on a whip and what you're going to notice here is especially with escape artists you get that double team you can just roll out and basically literally just bomb every coverage it pretty much doesn't matter what i do from a defensive perspective zone drops aren't really going to help uh, match coverage to me defends at the best um, but even that can be a little bit has it or you know not always great and then of course tampa 2 we'll show you that real quick here again slide protect to the right block the tight end the reason we slide protect to the right is because we want to get a double team on the defensive end and roll out of the pocket now we're going to show you why that actually leaves some vulnerabilities in the pass protection in just a second uh, but what you're going to see here we get that double team we're going to roll out and cover two actually matched onto it but as you can i mean it's it's still a pretty decent shot now again that's going to be the user so you know let me show you something real quick out of tampa two now again notice real quick so if you take a look at this play art you notice that a nickel triple the tampa two this corner is um on a mid read zone to me that is something that's actually relatively rare you're not going to get a lot of that so i'm just going to keep you spy him just for the sake of breaking this bomb down and then we're going to talk about um a defense that i really like to shut this down so anyways he rolls out and as you see you know kind of gets to the sideline right there and you just see the the bottom line is i just want to show it gets over the coverage okay if you put route tech on him it gets over man cover four drop doesn't stand a chance because of the wheel so there's just a lot that this play can bomb now um, what I want to show you right now is a blitzing concept that you can use actually really simple to set up that will basically not only um, make it more difficult for them to bomb you, but you're going to be cr amazed, I think, at this pressure. So literally all we're going to do is we're going to set the exact adjustments up exactly, exactly the same offensively. So you see this is the play. Now, I'm not going to get into the coverage yet. I just want to show the blitz. Literally all you're going to do is you're going to press. You're going to globally blitz your linebackers. I like to bring this guy over the center. I do think it helps a little bit. And then you're going to click on to this linebacker and stand kind of right here and pass commit. What you're going to notice here is we're going to get a disengage a gap and edge pressure that's going to come in really, really fast at the quarterback. Now, again, I'm not talking about the coverage yet. I just want you to just want to show you the pressure. Now, the level of consistency with this pressure is actually insane to me. Um, you're at least going to guarantee you're going to get somebody free. But most of the time, like I said, it will come from this defensive tackle. If it doesn't come from the defensive tackle, you're going to have really good contain. You see the bomb is still open. We're going to get to that in just a second. Okay. But um, like I said, this is just a very, very good concept. And you don't have to bring this guy down. But I do think it helps, especially kind of put him like right in here. And then, you know, you're going to see, again, because they're sliding to the right, it makes them very susceptible to the A-gap portion of this. Um, so, again, I'm just going to come down with my user. If you don't get the A-gap in, you're going to get edge, okay? If you don't get the A-gap in, you're going to get edge. And you're only sitting five. You're only sitting five people at the quarterback. So, to me, it's a very, very good blitz. Now, we showed you already how the mid-read uh, zone does a really good job at matching onto the, the post um, out of this, especially in a unique alignment like the nickel triple. Again, it's not like that from other formations, but specifically talking about nickel triple, um, this concept can work very well or really well. And the cool part about this is you notice here, you know, kind of what we have in terms of the, the coverage. So we're just going to globally bless our linebackers out of cover two. You see that it's going to look like this. 
Now, what I like to do is you can actually show blitz out of this look and then you can manually press there. The only reason I wanna do that is because I want them to see this guy on the right side has the potential to be able to come in. And then on the left side here, we can kind of craft our coverage however we want. For example, we could play a cover three, just like so, uh, maybe something like this, you know, and then you can kind of bring this guy down and put him in a third, okay? Just some examples of different things you can do. And then really what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the running back, okay? So again, uh, we're just going to set up the, the pass protection here. And let's see if I can fix the play art. Anyways, there you go. Snap of the ball. You see you get the pressure. You're coming this direction and look at the match on that post. That skinny post is matched very, very well uh, out of this Tampa 2. So again, let me just show it real quick here. Now, the A-gap did not come in. Part of this could be because of some of the uh, deals that's happening there with Jair Alexander being on that side, but I just want to show primarily the coverage now. Okay, so you see the coverage is fairly good, right? You have the purple cover in the out. You have that match really doing a great job there, and then you can use her over here, or you could man that guy up on the running back if you wanted to. Okay, so now we're going to kind of merge the two concepts together. So Tampa 2, all you need to do uh, with this is you just want to essentially spread your linebackers and then basically reset them. So you see how it's going to reset them kind of? Okay, so that resets the linebacker. So now we're going to have a pretty good chance of getting some pressure. Then we're going to um, bring that corner over and man him up on the running back. So you see it looks like this right there. And then honestly, you could just leave it like this. If you're at all worried, um, then just create a cover three. Literally just create a cover three. So you see it looks like this, but now we have our mid read. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, from an offensive perspective, we're going to set up our concept. And what you should see here is we're gonna get our edge. I'm sorry, I forgot to put the wheel out there. Um, if they block the running back, the running back does pick up this pressure. Okay, just kind of FYI. Uh, if they block the running back, he will pick up the pressure. But if they don't, which they don't normally, especially if they're trying to hit you with a bomb, they don't normally do that, okay? They really don't. So uh, another way you could easily set this up, honestly, is you could just put this guy in a mid read here, and then you could just literally do this. So you blitz your linebackers, put him in a mid read, and then you're just gonna come down here like this. Very simple. If you wanna do something like that, you certainly can. Um, and then the cool part is you could roll it just like this right here, and then maybe do like a you know a half on the left or, or whatever. But you see, we got pretty decent coverage out of this. Um, but anyways, here you see there's the A-gap and the edge, and as you can see, the coverage is really, really good. So to me, you know, it, it's really not that bad um, in terms of stopping this. Let me show you what we're getting defensively. So we put this guy, the middle linebacker, uh, in a mid-read. Watch what he does. He's going to guard the post pretty much cons very, I mean, pretty well. He opens to the three wide receiver, carries the vertical. You really don't even need a deep third if you, if you really want to get aggressive. You also have this guy right here who is running stride for stride. He'll also open to the tight end side. So if the tight end goes on a streak, you at least have some protection there as well. Okay. On the back side here, obviously, if they run a corner route to the right, they might have it, a deep corner. But everything else is pretty much bagged, as you can see. Okay. So I'll show you that one more time. So again, cover three. Uh, literally, all you're going to do is you're going to press your coverage, globally blitz your linebackers, and then what I like to do is take my middle linebacker, put him in a mid read. You could, again, if you if you if you are more confident in the pressure, then don't put him in the mid read. Okay, but then literally, this is all, I mean, that's pretty much it. I like to man up the running back with the uh, safety there, and then like I said, if you want to put that outside third in a middle third, um, you could. So you just man the corner up on the running back. So you see, this is what the play looks like. And that's pretty much it. And then from a bomb perspective, I'm sliding to the right. I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do to get the great pass protection and the ability to roll out. Um, and what you should see here is we're going to get the D gap, the defensive tackle A gap. And as you can see, everything is completely bagged. So this has just been a little tutorial on how to stop one of the best bombs in Madden. I've been talking about this bomb since probably the first week of the game. And it has been probably the best bomb all season long, except for some of the things that we can do out of the trips tight end formation, which if you want to get access to both of those ebooks alongside of this defense and really start to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, it's just 10 bucks a month. You're going to get instant access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. And you're also going to get access to all my exclusive tips and pro player breakdowns where we actually look at literally what the best players in the world are doing and break them down 
break down why they're doing it and what you can learn from it. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, head on down to the description of the video and click that link that I put down there where you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks.